What's going on guys and welcome to Ravage Used Cars. Two things I want to warn you about. No, I didn't just buy another Mustang. Second, I want to introduce you to my little buddy. I'll call him Mini Me. And he's, he's, he's hanging out. This is like my apprentice. You remember those wrestling buddies back in the day? He snuggled with it. It's like, show us on the doll where the model touched you, Rob. I'm just kidding. Anyway, so I love Bullet Mustangs. Any car guy loves the movie Bullet. You know, filmed in San Francisco, 1968. Highland Green Mustang. And everybody instantly thinks it was a 428 Mustang in 1968. It was the fastest one. Actually, it wasn't. They actually had two, and they were both 390, 325 horse, four speed. Highland Green, 68 Fastback Mustangs. And we got a 2008 Bullet here in jet black. I don't know the exact numbers. I know they didn't make a whole, whole, whole lot of them. And this one right here, I've got several buddies that are really into Mustangs. You know, like Wayne with his Indy Pace car that keeps it literally surgical room clean. My buddy Alex in this Mustang, I won't even touch it. Like Wayne, I'll mess with him. I'm not going to touch Alex's car because, like, I'm pretty sure he don't want people breathing on it, anything like that. You will have to look a long way before you find a cleaner car than this one. But back to Bullet Mustangs and, and in the Bullet movie. You know, everybody likes that movie. You know, you got the 68 Dodge Charger, and, you know, you got the, the Bullet Mustang and car guy movies, you know, Steve McQueen was a car guy, you know, he raced and all this stuff. And, and I've watched Bullet so many times, like, I know like odd things about Bullet. Do you know that Robert Duvall was in the movie Bullet? He was a taxi cab driver. That's right. Oh, Harry Hodge from Days of Thunder, before he started building cars, was driving a taxi cab in San Francisco. Second, before he built Cold Trickles, number 46, City Chevrolet, He's driving a cab. No, just kidding. But a really cool movie. And this car, it was kind of crazy because like the movie came out. Yeah, it's middle of the road. It did okay. Kind of went through, you know. Eh. And then all of a sudden, you know, it was all in the magazines. This car resurfaces. The Bullet Mustang after all these years. And the same person has owned it this entire way. Actually, a school teacher drove it. How badass is that? A school teacher drove it. You know, this car sat in a barn for a long time. And like people found out the car was in there and like they broke in and like stole stuff off of it. Like I was reading somewhere, like, like they stole the factory air cleaner off of it. That's crazy. That's just, that's just messed up. But, you know, so the car resurfaced, they got it running. They didn't restore it. And this thing has lived a very, very, very hard life. This car needs quarters. I was privileged enough to be at SEMA when they unveiled it and they were backing it in. It's actually in the Pennzoil booth. And I was there when they were backing it in. The car sounded great. Like it ran good. But this poor Mustang, I mean, like literally the bottoms of the quarters and I mean, cameras everywhere, you know, and I mean, just everybody's just all oh, flocking around it, you know, and I was, hell, I was closer to it than this bullet. I mean, it's just rusty, and I mean, just bad rusty. I mean, I haven't seen that many cameras around a piece of shit Mustang since last time I had a drug bust in the trailer park. But this car's special, though. This is a special POS Mustang. It's the Bullet Mustang. And another cool tie to the Bullet Mustang was there was the rumor that the actual stunt car ended up in Mexico. And, you know, a lot of cars, a lot of American cars did end up in Mexico. You know, matter of fact, hell, I filmed, you know, my Netflix pilot earlier this year looking for, you know, those ultra rare barn finds in beautiful Mexico. And uh, we had a lot of fun with that one. And, and that's actually that story is what spurred the whole idea for that show. And, you know, and I mean, I love it. And, you know, we're still in the talks with that. But. But I mean, it's so neat that that story lives on. You know, Steve McQueen's gone and, you know, and, and the Bullet Mustang made its rounds. And I mean, it went to, I think it went to the Ford Museum for a little while and all that stuff. And then finally they sold it. And the Bullet Mustangs, I mean, now they came out last year with a Bullet, you know, with the new Bullet. And those were really popular. You know, that Highland Green, you could get in the New Edge, the first new Bullets that came back out, the New Edge ones, you could get blue, black, or green. I think, or it might have been just blue and green. True blue and green. The only reason I know that is because I had two coming in. Damn pandemic. 
Then you had these cars, and you could get them in black and green. But I think the other ones, I think the newer ones now, I don't think, I think you can only get them in green. But anyway, long story short, they're cool cars. The name still lives on. These cars got a lot of little special touches. This one right here has a very special touch under the hood, by the way, of Edelbrock Supercharger on it. That, that's the cool thing about it, though, is cars around movies. And, you know, like, like American Graffiti. You know, there's been several copies of Milner's 32 Coupe the fastest car in the valley. I think the bullet Mustang really, next to Eleanor in Gone in 60 Seconds is probably, and I still think the bullet still has been, the name's been used and it's lived on. And you got guys that's all they collect is bullet Mustangs. And now the new bullet Mustangs are becoming collectible and these are becoming the new collector's ones. So that's kind of cool right there. It's kind of cool to see it living on for future generations and they can watch the movie and. Yeah, I mean, I hate to break it for you if you've never seen the movie Bullet. The car chase is absolutely awesome between the 68 Charger and the 1968 Fastback Mustang. The Bullet movie, if you've never seen it before, I don't want to ruin it for you. The car chase is absolutely awesome. It's totally worth the price of admission. The rest of the movie, eh, not so much. But i tell you what is awesome is watching my buddy Alex rub on this Mustang. And I think I'm gonna put some fingerprints on it. Guys, we'll catch you next time at Rabbit's Used Cars. I'm just, it's hot. I'm sweating. It's hot. It's hot as two rats, 4K, and a wool sock in here. Hello? Doing well. I, I've already sold it. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. So polite. So, the car chases are the best part, hands down. But anyway, like I said, I totally don't know how to end this. How you want to end it? I think I'm going to put some fingerprints on Alex's mustache. The rest of the movie, it's kind of a, it's kind of a snooze fest. But, what the f*** was that? We did so good on the first one. All right. You know, we can hand that shit together. Yeah. Throw some beaks and claws in, it'll work.